Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you today with your weekly reading. This is for June 30th through July 7th. This is for my Aries sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, for all my cross watchers, you know you're always welcome. Thank you for joining. Okay, so... We have a lot of planets in retrograde right now affecting a lot of things, right? And so um, we're all affected by these planets being in retrograde. Um, we have a lot of people are focused on their spirituality, um, their their creative journeys, their harness, learning how to harness their emotions. A lot of people are thinking about their money and wealth. A lot of people are increasing their education for their intellect and they're also becoming more powerful right now. So um, there aren't any planets like, uh, let's see, Aries, um, Mars is not retrograde right now, but Mars is the planet of um, physical energy that would be your sex drive your forcefulness and your aggression okay and so a lot of things are happening right um so let's um let's let's talk a little bit about the aries like some of your like your um your character traits first of all let me get into which cards i'm using i'm using the mystic monday cards okay so this is the first deck that i'm using i'm also using the um um, Affirmator's Tarot cards. Very pretty. <laughs> I'm also using Oracle cards. I'm using the Moonology Oracle cards. So I want you to um, see that. And let's put this over here. I'm also using the Sacred Vision cards. Okay. All right. So what do we know about Aries? Like what, what do we know about Aries? Okay. So Aries um, have very strong leadership. You guys are very courageous. You're determined. You're very confident. You're enthusiastic. Um, you are, um, you have amazing self-confidence, a lot of positive energy. You're creative. You are um, very determined. You are honest. You are passionate. So those are just some of the um, character traits for my high vibrating um, Aries, even if you find yourself vibrating low, at least you know what the character traits for the high, a high vibrating Aries looks like. Okay. Because we all have situations that happen in our lives that, that causes us to vibrate at a lower frequency. But again, Aries, I want to get into, um, I want to get into your reading and see what we have here. Okay. So let's, let's get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a reading for my Aries. Um, specifically in Aries of spirituality and them actually taking action on something. Um, also, give me some information about their money and their wealth. Um, their power and intellect, their creativity and areas of emotion. Give me some information for love, whether it be self-love, family love, or romantic love. Yeah, let's get into this and see what your cards say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Okay. So the first major arcana came out, and I'm really, really not surprised, is this is the full. Okay. Let me let me um share this with you, Aries. Okay. I I did in the Aquarius reading, okay. With the Aquarius reading, um, the Emperor card came out. So for the Aquarius, um, which is attached to Uranus, which is attached to this full card here, what I share with the Aquarius is that there is an Aries somewhere in the Aquarius's life. Um, somebody had Aries in their chart um, attached to the Aquarius that was um, played a major role in them being on the journey where they are. You can go back and look at the Aquarius's um, reading, but it's a it's a spiritual journey that the Aries played a huge role in. Like it could be a parent, ancestors, or somebody had Aries in their chart that played a huge role. And here we have the Aquarius card popping up, right? So for you, this is 
free spirit. This is a new beginning. This represents purity, okay? This is the full card attached to Uranus, right? And so while Uranus is not in retrograde right now, um, Uranus is attached directly to the Aquarius, which is attached to um, um, being free spirited, just like this is attached to inner freedom. Okay. So let's move on. We have the princes of wands. This is you. Okay. So the wand, <clears throat> excuse me, the wands, um, um, card is for the fire element, fire signs that represents a journey to spirituality and taking action. Right? So this is you very, very free spirited, just like here, very free spirited. Right? Um, so there's definitely some kind of a connection right now happening, at least just right now for the um, Aquarius and the Aries, okay? Then you have your two of pentacles. Your life is in full balance, in full balance. I think Aquarius also got this card. That's why I said there's somewhere, there's somewhere between an Aquarius and Aries where there's some, um, there's some mystical like powers happening, whether the Aries is... Um, um, both the Aries and Aquarius are ta tapped into their mystical journeys, their mystical powers. And I'm seeing a card that popped up here, but again, this is your queen of swords. You have a, such a strong mystic, um, uh, mystical messages coming to you that you can actually still be graceful and still cut things off that don't serve your higher purpose or your journey. Okay. This is what I'm seeing for you, Aries. And Aquarius is Aquarius also got this card, which is the four swords. Even in your rest position, you still, um, know when to cut things off. This could be bad thoughts. This could be feelings. If you, if you have a, a, a bad thought that comes across your mind about somebody, you cut it off like quickly, like I only want good energy out there. I'm only putting good energy out there. This is what I have for you, Aries. And the reason why I know that I also got this same card for the Aquarius and I'm shuffling the card. So this is not by coincidence. There is a strong connection right now between the Aquarius and the Aries. And it's, you either have Aquarius or Aries in your chart, but, um, this right here is, you cannot believe the mystic messages that you're getting. Like you're actually able to, um, you're actually able to transmit messages, um, receive messages from the universe. It's just so powerful. You have the full backing of the universe, just like the Aquarius does. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Give me some more information for my Aries. Wow. You have a very strong spiritual connection, Aries, with my Aquarius. Um, wow, this card just plopped, just plopped out. What is this? Yeah, this is your card, the Emperor. Okay, this is like really crazy. This card just popped out. I'm, I'm flipping these cards, but this is the same card that came out for the Aquarius, the Emperor card. That's why I said an Aries has a very, very strong spiritual connection with the Aquarius right now. This is the Emperor card. This is showing that... Um, there's a lot of power, you know, in this spiritual connection between you and an Aquarius. Oh my goodness. It's very, very powerful. Amazing. Yep. Okay. All right. So this is the strength card. The strength card is um, Leo card, right? So th this is also the sun card. The sun is never retrograde. So you don't have to worry about me talking about retrograde there. But you have a lot of strength, Aries. Okay, you're very, very strong. You have very um, strong power when it comes to... And this is why I say the Aries has to be like an authoritative figure, like a parent figure or an ancestor, because you're up here higher than where the Aquarius is right now in terms of mystic messages. And so this is being poured out to the Aquarius. So the Aquarius could be a child. It could be, um, it could be somebody like, um, um, that's receiving a direct power from you. Okay. Hopefully this makes sense to you, Aries, but, um, 
this magician, you have infinite wisdom and knowledge. This is also a major arcana. This magician card is attached to um, the um, the Gemini and also the Virgo. Okay, so we know we know that Mercury is retrograde right now, right? Mercury is in retrograde right now, and so with um. I want to make sure I get in real, real, real close, you know, so that you can actually see, um, again, that we have, like, Mer Mercury is in retrograde right now. And so, Mercury being retrograde right now is, there is a, um, and this is only for a short amount of time. This is um, until, like, July the 12th. Mercury being in retrograde, there's, like, disruption in the communication, or it could be a disruption in communication and technology. So as far as you and the Aquarius are concerned, um, you have you have a um, everything that you need that you want in your way of communicating with this Aquarius. You have it at your disposal, right? So let's say, for instance, technology, maybe you've been trying to send this Aquarius some messages or something like that, and they're not getting the messages for whatever reason. You have a way of transmitting those messages um, spiritually, like through these mystic messages, like in your, in your, um, in your, the universe has a way of getting those messages to you and the Aquarius going back and forth. There's a there's a way of y'all getting these messages to and fro, even if technology is breaking down is what I'm trying to say. You have access to all of that tapping inward, okay? Um, this Ace of Pentacles right here represents abundance, represents you manifesting in prosperity, okay? It represents all of that. And so we have also, we have the Knight of Pentacles right here, also money, 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 okay? I want to be crystal clear. This is harvest time. This is because you've been dedicated because there's been a routine here, you know? And so here's, here's the wonderful thing. <clears throat> you and this person with Aquarius in their chart are also so connected that there is what's happening with you is what's happening with them, Okay? This this is what I'm this is what I'm getting. And then you have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords. So the Swords energy is your um represents intellect and power, but it's also representing um the Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, right? And so we know that um Saturn is also in retrograde right now not only is mercury in retrograde saturn is retrograde saturn is also saturn and uranus is attached to the aquarius right so um saturn being in retrograde um saturn is the is responsibility in the hard work ethic like a hard work that's what that planet represents but it also like in retrograde it's a time of karma. And so karmic debts are being sorted out. And so that's the past, present, and future. That's why I said there is um, there is an Aquarius in your line, past, present, future, ancestor, some kind of a um, family connection that's affecting all of this, right? And so you, you both are being blessed abundantly for your mystical messages and gifts that you have. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so it's just a wonderful time, but it but it's a it's a it's a mystical time, like it's a magical time that's actually happening, you know, like with the gifts that you have, and I want you to recognize just how powerful, I mean, just how powerful and how authoritative you are and just walk in that like really really walk in that let's see um let's see what else we have um in these tarot cards um yeah, let's, let's see what else we have with these tarot cards and again these are the affirmators five of wands Wands is um, in the fire element, which represents your journey to spirituality and taking action, right? 
And so let's get in close. Um, this represents like the competition, the diversity. It represents the um, rivalry, right? So what I want you to understand is that like there is no rivalry. There is no competition between you and this Aquarius, okay? This is really what I want you to understand. That's why it's so important for you to tap into those mystic messages. So even if, um, even if technology is a barrier right now, you can tap into like those mystic messages and communicate with that person through those mystic messages. That's why it's so important for you to, because it's so powerful and it's so strong right now. So like in 3D, in, in the third dimension, you may feel like there's some kind of friction or there's some kind of, but just remember it's because Mercury is um, in retrograde right now. And so it, it creates the illusion that this, there's some kind of disruption there, but it really, really is not any disruption. It is, you have a way of reaching out and contacting this particular, um, air sign and getting your message across. This is with the spirituality and actually taking action. The taking action part for you, Aries, is to get that message transmitted, like get that message across. Let's pull a um, let's pull a um, moonology oracle card here and see what the messages are for the moonology oracle cards. Yeah, let's see what we have here. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, so regardless of what may have happened. In the past, um, don't let it hold you back, Aries, okay? Don't let it hold you back. You have very, very strong mystic powers, okay, um, that you can tap into. It's, it's very, very different than seeing things on the surface. For like um, a person, let me see. Okay, here's an example that I got. Let's say um, you walk into work and you see your manager or your boss or leader or whatever, and you speak to them, but they don't speak back. On the surface, it may appear that they're angry with you, that they're frustrated with you, that they don't even like you. But having the ability to tap into those mystic messages that you're receiving from the universe will tell you they just got a really bad phone call right before they came into work. And... That's where their focus is. They didn't even hear you say good morning. They didn't even hear you say hello, right? And so that's what that it has the ability to tap into. That's the same ability that the Aquarius has to tap into. So this is what I'm saying to you. Like, don't let your past hold you back. Your past of like not tapping into that other realm um, holds you back in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Tap into that. Like, give yourself the benefit of the doubt. Give other people the benefit of the doubt like the moment you want to think something about somebody let the universe tell you exactly what it is okay so um yeah and the aquarius has the same thing like i said this is just like eerily this eerie connection between you and an aquarius um that it could be you have an Aquarius child or that you have um you're a guardian of somebody who has Aquarius in their chart but it's it's a very very strong like um very strong connection there that you all are both can able to like pull from this like this this thing where you can connect you can speak to each other through this like this um these mystic messages it's just wow yeah creation it's um it's it's very very pure like this is what like this white card it's very very pure this energy that you have that you're able to tap into it's the same thing for the aquarius and it's 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 um it's not eerie for me because um this is a gift that i have but um it's it's it could be eerie for you that you're actually able to connect with this person um through mystic messages, even if there's a disruption in um, technology. So since we're using cell phones and computers and stuff like that right now, there could be a disruption in that, which may cause you to feel like, okay, I can't reach out to that person. But getting your posture of sitting down 
and connecting through meditation, um, through the law of attraction, um, through the universe, because you have the full unit backing of the universe and get those messages across. Okay. It's, it's a, it's a, it's an amazing, like, exchange of energy and you can exchange that energy from one part of the world to the other part of the world it's it's just like oh it's it's so strong like what did people do before telephones <laughs> like what did people do before telephones and like what did people do before cell phones like what did people do before texting and pagers and all those things like how do we communicate with each other this is on a different level of communication it is a spiritual level of communication that both you and this aquarius share um but i'm getting very very strong like family connection like um ancestral connection um is what i got for the aquarius but from you it is like a parent like a person an authority figure um, that is directly uh, connected to this Aquarius and then this energy that's being shared there. But it's just, it's just an amazing, it's an amazing thing. Like it, it's just an amazing thing. And then the, um, the power that you have is just amazing. And the strength that you have is just amazing. What's also amazing, um, Aries is that uh, the things that you have come through, that you've been able to overcome and still sit here on this throne, You've been through some major, major, major things, um, and but you're you're on your throne. This emperor again. This is masculine, feminine energy. So I don't want anybody to think I'm thinking I'm talking about male, male, female. I'm talking about masculine, feminine energy. You have. Um, <clears throat> you can't let your past, your past belief system, hold you back looking at things on the surface. See the the example that I gave was like, you know, you walk into the workplace and your boss doesn't speak to you. You automatically see in the in the third dimension, you're looking at this person doesn't even like me. Um you can't even look at it that way anymore. The way you look at it is what the, the what the universe is telling you. The universe could show you this person just got some really bad news and they're like completely zoned out. They're not think they didn't hear anybody say anything. They don't even remember getting from their car to the inside the building, let alone hearing you say good morning or hello. They weren't even their mind is some completely somewhere else. And so don't let your past belief system hold you back because um, there's a there's a pureness and a, a purity and a newness and a in a um, refreshing gush of this this deep spiritual mystic messages that you're receiving at this point that is like will allow you almost to be able to read people's minds and read their thoughts. So this, yeah, so this is, this is very, very powerful Aries. But like I said, there's some kind of a connection between you and an Aquarius because, um, I saw a, almost not identical in their reading, but I, if, like I said, go back and look at, listen to the Aquarius reading, um, because you are, you are very prevalent in the Aquarius reading. So, um, there's some kind of connection there, but you have such a power power in your spirituality and your receiving your mystic messages from the universe that um people will feel like even if they denied you know it, it's scary at first because let's say let's take this this example that i gave of a boss who didn't speak even if you said to the boss oh i'm so sorry you just received some bad news that person would look at you like in shock like how in the world did you know that um, but you know it like, so, but it's, it's in a way Aries that, um, that you'll be able to harness it without scaring people kind of thing, that, that kind of energy without actually scaring people. But yeah, that's what I have for you. Um, wow. Okay. That's, that's powerful. Like between you and this Aquarius, I don't, <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah. I'm actually excited for you, Aries, because this this level of spirituality and actually taking action um, on this deeper level is really shocking to you. Like just how strong and how powerful these gifts and this energy you have. OK, but that's what I have for you. That is for my Aries, um, sun, moon, rising and Venus. Um, oh. 
this this is wonderful this is really really wonderful um like i say your um your planet is mars okay um mars is the planet of physical energy um, sex drive, that means sex drive, that means forcefulness, that means aggression. So like I said, it is an Aquarius is somewhere strong, heavy, heavy, heavy in all of this, um, the overarching thing. And the, the strength that you have is just amazing. Truly, truly, truly amazing. But that is what I have for you for my Aries. Um, my readings are every Tuesday. If this resonates with you, um, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, in between from Tuesday to Tuesday, I may sprinkle in some, some other messages about some other things. Um, but yeah, this is your reading. I am really, really, really excited for you, Aries. I hope you have a great week. Okay. Bye.